Survivor Series 2024 is in the books, and what a show this was. No bad matches at all, but there were a couple of booking missteps. However, with that being said this was a largely great show. There was enough for it to be among WWE's top premium live events of the year. So, without further ado, let's get into the biggest positives and negatives from Survivor Series 2024. The show, opening women's war games match at Survivor Series 2024 was a mixed bag. Most of the action in the first half was sloppy and it only picked up one Sio Sky entered. The bout as a whole suffered because of this. However, once it got going, things only improved. Some huge spots overshadowed the flaws of this match. Sky herself hit her signature trash can moonsault from the top of the double cage, while Tiffany Stratton landed a swanton bomb from the other side. Meanwhile, Nia Jax was powerbombed through a table. However, as impressive as the match, ending riptide through the table was, Liv Morgan getting pinned wasn't ideal. Rhea Ripley has already beaten the women's world champion before, so the next time should have happened with the title on the line instead of in war games. Shinsuke Nakamura winning the United States Championship at Survivor Series 2024 was a huge shocker for many reasons. One of them was the momentum LA Knight had garnered during his title reign. It didn't feel like the right time to take the belt off the megastar. WWE may have successfully rehabilitated Nakamura, with the title change following a hard character reset. The dark and sinister Japanese warrior is finally back in form but it came at the expense of one of the company's most overstars. Hopefully, Teresa planned for night after his loss at Survivor Series 2024. What a waste it would be, otherwise. Braun Breaker, Sheamus, and Ludwig Kaiser did not disappoint at all tonight. The three partook in a fantastic triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship, laying each other out with strikes, kicks, and Spears. The Celtic Warrior came agonizingly close to winning, after hitting Breaker with a broke kick. However, Kaiser pulled the referee out of the ring and proceeded to injure Sheamus with his own shillelagh. The champion then rallied to win, hitting two massive Spears on his challengers. Survivor Series 2024 was better off with this match on the card. Braun Breaker also needed the win proving he can hold on to a title amid challenging circumstances. As good as Damian Priest's effort was against Gunther, he went backward at Survivor Series 2024. He was never going to win the World Heavyweight Championship but renewing his rivalry with Finn Balor is not ideal. The Prince cost his former Judgment Day brother, just like he did at SummerSlam. The ring general wasn't happy about it, though. He wanted to defeat Priest clean to overcome his recent crisis in confidence. That will likely continue on WWE Raw. Meanwhile, we are about to get more weeks of Damian Priest beating up the Judgment Day, especially after what happened following the end of Survivor Series 2024. Yay. Despite a couple of minor casualties, the Bloodline War Games match was a tremendous success. Survivor Series 2024 ended on a high note, as Roman Reigns led his team to victory against Solo Sikoa's group. It was a bumpy ride, as evidenced by the OTC's visible tension with CM Punk. The two were stuck in the shark cage together. But once they got out, business picked up. Reigns flew, but so did Bronson Reed and Jacob Fatu. The Australian even got injured, likely from his failed tsunami from the top of the cage. Jimmy Uso hit an epic splash through a table before the OG bloodline ended solo. The new tribal chief ate finisher after finisher, as Roman Reigns pinned him for the win. He and CM Punk shook hands at the end of Survivor Series 2024. Paul's well that ends well, at least until we find out what the wise man's favor to the second city saint is.